Hello and welcome to the Foundry's Furnish Core Tutorials for Final Cut Pro. Dirt removal will automatically detect and remove specks of dirt and dust from a frame. The plugin works by looking for objects that appear for only one frame, and after taking account of the motion in the sequence. For example, a speck of dirt that appears for only one frame will be classified as dirt. A football being kicked across the image will not be classified as dirt because after taking account of the motion, it appears in each frame of the sequence. A vertical scratch in a sequence will not be classified as dirt as it appears in the same place for every frame. Now, dirt in the camera lens or in the telecine gate will not be classified as dirt as it appears in the same place on each frame. Now, having detected the dirt on location, the algorithm actually produces a seamless repair by taking the motion composite pixels from surrounding frames, that's known as clean data, and interpolating them onto the dirt region. Now, you just see which regions have been repaired. You can change the output so you actually see the actual dirt that's been repaired or the mat in the alpha channel. Now, the main controls provided by the plugin, a set of presets, nice control lead trade off between falsely identifying dirt and failing to spot and repair the dirt. Now, Often, even if a region of the image is falsely detected as dirt, it will be repaired perfectly as the dirt will not have been corrected in the actual motion of the region, allowing for a high quality motion compensated repair. Now, before you start the tutorial, you should actually download the relevant scripts and image sequences from the Foundry website. Once you've done this, we can begin. When you open the actual dirt removal script, you should find the new dirt version 2. If you play through the sequence now, you can see that there's a lot of dirt actually on the actual film itself. Now normally, as an artist, you'd be asked to actually paint these sections out and repair them by hand. We're going to be using our actual furnace court dirt removal node to actually save a lot of time and do this really quickly and effectively. So first of all, what we need to do is drag this to our timeline. Just play through the sequence, make sure it matches. Our dirt is there. I'm just going to put this into a frame where there's a lot of dirt actually on the sequence, just to illustrate how the plugin works. We need to go into our furnace core model tool set, and we need to click on our dirt removal and simply drag and drop this onto our sequence. And it's as simple as that. So, simply by doing the default settings for our actual dirt removal node, we've actually cleaned up a lot of the image. If we look at our filters tab, we can see we have two options for our actual dirt removal node. We have the presets and the output. Now, the presets control the actual trade-off between falsely identifying dirt and failing to spot the dirt. By default, it's set to medium. We have very cautious, which is actually very cautious approach and tries not to repair too much of the image. We have the very aggressive approach, which actually looks for any kind of subtle change between the images and tries to repair it. Just to illustrate this, we actually pick the very cautious preset. And now what we need to do is just get a render of this to see the results. If you view our render for very cautious as the preset, we can see the dirt removal node actually done quite a good job at cleaning up the image. However, there's quite a bit of dirt still left there. So what we need to do is go back to Final Cut and fix this. If we go to our presets, you can see the very cautious approach wasn't very good for the results. So what we need to do is increase this. So instead of going to cautious, I'm going to go for a medium amount, which is neutral. Now, as a word of note, for archival footage, you typically choose very aggressive, as there's a lot of dirt in these actual images. Whereas for a modern scan such as this, with isolated patches of dust, you should generally choose cautious or neutral. Now, if you choose a very high setting for a piece of footage that doesn't really require it, in some cases, where there's a lot of fast-moving objects, such as bicycle wheels and different things going across the screen, it may actually degrade the image and lose a bit of image detail. So it's best to actually pick and choose which one of these you best for your footage through a little bit of trial and error. So for this one, I'm going to choose a medium approach because it's a little bit better than cautious and it will actually try and cover most of the dirt in the sequence. So I'm going to pick neutral. Before we press render, what we can also see is the output. Now we can also output the repair or we can look at the dirt which is being actually outputted. We can actually see which part of the image is analyzed and identified as dirt by the node. 
We can also actually repair the dirt in the alpha channel. So you can see exactly what's being repaired. If we go into our alpha, you can see the dirt there. And we see the combined RGB and the alpha mat as well. We can also output the source. But for this, we're going to output the repair. So now we've changed the preset to neutral and output is repair. We can get a render of this and view the results. If we play through the sequence now, we can see we've actually quite quickly and accurately repaired the actual sequence and there's no dirt left in there. So we've taken a very laborious task which would have involved hours of painting and referencing back to the original frame and painting again to a very quick and easy task using our furnace core dirt removal effect. For more information on dirt removal, please refer back to the Furnace Court Manual.